Good evening and welcome to Sancta News. The Irish t-shirt Michael Martin has suggested lockdown restrictions will remain in place for at least another nine weeks, until the end of April. This raises the possibility of yet another Easter in lockdown for Catholics in the Republic of Ireland. Meanwhile, north of the border, Stormont has said that the restrictions will continue until April the 1st. In Scotland, Catholics have to wait until next week to find out the latest roadmap for the lifting of lockdown restrictions and any potential change to church opening. Meanwhile, as the UK vaccination programme continues to progress well, there have been calls that the UK donate surplus vaccines to poorer nations. Pax Christi Scotland have said that 160 million risk exclusion from coronavirus vaccinations because they live in countries engulfed in conflict and instability. Today, the Church in Scotland prays for those who have suffered any form of abuse. This day is scheduled in the Church's calendar for the Friday following Ash Wednesday each year. Liturgical resources are provided by the Bishop's Conference and prayers are said in every Catholic Church in Scotland for this intention. If you want to find out more, you can visit the Bishop's Conference website at www.bcos.org.uk slash safeguarding. And finally, a Catholic priest on the missions in Madagascar and known for his service to the poor living in a landfill site has been nominated for this year's Nobel Peace Prize. Argentinian Father Pedro Opeca, aged 72, from the Vincentian Order of Priests, has worked with the poor in Madagascar for more than three decades. He founded the Akamosa Humanitarian Association in 1989 as a solidarity movement for those living on the landfill site in appalling conditions. Thank you for watching Sancta News. Good evening. Thank you.